Okay, so I am Lance Corporate Ticket of the Black Company here to tell you my tale of the time that I met, you'll not believe it, Death himself, the man himself, that one, the one you're afraid of, you know, the one I was afraid of. Goes back now about, say, five years, something like this. I'm here with the war host again, obviously, because I can't go home, and uh, we're out uh, gathering a contract as we do. I think it was the Lions on that occasion. We're down at the camp there, chatting away. There's the captain taking a few of the lads out, you know, a bit of a bodyguard thing, <coughs> to see if we can get ourselves hired, you know, because that's what we do. Anyway, as we get in there, I see this figure, right? And he's just walking about in the camp, attracting quite a lot of attention. People are muttering, oh, it's death. Oh, there he is, death himself. And I'm thinking, death? Just walking around? That's insane, can't possibly be. Anyway, so he drifts over, right? And I'm looking at this lad, having a little chat with people, going from place to place, you know, with people going, oh, is that some of them walking away, some of them are staying around, a bit weird, really. And I think to myself, take it out, lad, you've not met the man. You can't really make a judgment about the man that's going to come and see you one day until you meet him. Maybe you like him, maybe you like you. You never know, it might be friends, who can say? Anyway, so he drifts over to this man and he's having a little bit of a chin whack with some of the hobnobs over there in the lines. And I wait and I wait and I wait and sooner or later he turns and he looks at me straight in my face and I says to him, are you dead? And all I get is this, just a nod. And I'm thinking, oh so, he claims he is, I'm not going to argue. I can't exactly say, no you're not, I am, that'd be daft. Besides, he's the one who actually looks like Det anyway. So, I'm thinking, okay, so this is Det. And sooner or later, we'll have to have a conversation, might as well be now, right? So, I says to him, do you know when everybody's going to die? And he just gives me another one of them nods, you know. Ooh, a little bit chilling, but there you are. I'm there, I haven't shot myself yet, which is a plus in a situation like that, I think you'll agree. So, I says to him, well, I says to myself, to be fair, at the beginning of that, I'm thinking, maybe I'd push my luck just a little, just a little bit. I push my luck just a tip, just a touch. I says to him, do you know when I'm gonna die? And he gives me that nod again. And I thought, right, knows when everyone's gonna die, knows when I'm gonna die. Let's push it, go on. Let's push it just a little bit. And I says to him, is it today? And he's, he doesn't say a word, right? He just stands there and he goes. So I'm thinking, I got a day off, right? I'm good to go. I got the whole day till the, till uh, it turns into the next day. <clears throat> Do what I like, this is grand. But, and this is the bit that got me. He didn't leave it there, right? He comes in closer. Closer, right? Closer to me. This is death now, right? Coming closer and closer to my face, my actual face, <clears throat> and I'm thinking, he's gonna kiss me. This is horrible. Don't, no, no. Nobody wants to kiss a death, right? I mean, it's a terrible first date. Awkward, isn't it? Mm -hmm. With death, not for me or anyone else for that matter. Anyway, so he comes in closer and I'm thinking, don't kiss me, don't kiss me, don't kiss me. And he goes around my head at the last minute, leans in close to my ear, and he gives me a curse. Great, a curse. The curse is this. If I go down at any point from that until my last day, well it would be my last day, I got no heartbeats on me, I'm gone, like that. And I thought, ah, oh, great. This went really well, Ticket. Great job, fantastic, you pissed him off. But then, as I walked away, because you're not gonna argue with death now, are you? Don't, don't curse me, what's he gonna do? I could drop death on, drop dead on the spot, couldn't I? Anyway, so I'm walking away and I'm thinking, is it so bad? Is that really so bad? Do I want to be there, bleeding out, shiting myself, right? Or do I want the final bit of me to just be done? And for the man himself to turn up and go, hello, ticket. Oh, hello, dad. You're here. Yes, I am. Should we do this? All right. And make it nice and sudden like. So it's not that bad, is it? And I'm walking away <coughs> thinking that's pretty positive. Anyway. Uh, we do the negotiation with the Lions. We uh, 
trawl off back to camp and uh, the lieutenant's there. Right, now the lieutenant doesn't always pay a great deal of attention to me because I'm a bit chatty, right? Anybody who's met me for more than 30 seconds has figured out that actually I do a bit of this quite a lot. In fact, I'm using the two hands because I talk enough with two people. And he's not really paying much attention to what I'm ten trying to tell him, which is the tale I'm telling you. Until I looks behind us and I sees the man himself again, right, right behind us, there on the track, coming right up behind the lieutenant and I'm thinking, I'm not going to get the lieutenant in this kind of trouble, he'll never forgive me. And he's terrifying, right? So that's not going to happen. Now he says to the lieutenant, Sir, sir, you might want to move aside a little bit. That man right there behind you, that's death. Okay? And I had a little bit of a chat with him earlier on. Of course, the lieutenant's not listening anymore because he's got the headlines and that's enough. Anyway, so I moved him out the way like that. And I said, don't, don't talk to him, sir. Don't talk to him. He'll curse you. He cursed me. Just stay away from him, sir. There you go. And death starts to pass along. And <clears throat> I thought, hmm, if I make a big deal of this now, if I go back to death and I sort of make a little bit of a joke of it, it's not going to go well. I thought the best thing I could do now is show the man a little bit of respect. So I pose myself to attention, I gives him a smart salute, and I says, Good evening, sir! Throws it off, and death, um, and he stops. He stops in his tracks, and he's walking towards me again. Right? And I'm thinking, oh no, no, he's going to kiss me this time. This is it. This is where I get the kiss. It's not, though. It's not. What he does is he goes to the side again and he whispers in tickets, LD here again. And he says, I left the cars. Brilliant! Isn't it brilliant? Every word of this is absolutely true. I get a day off from debt. He curses me. He lifts a curse. Lovely day. One of the best in my life. Anyway, it's lovely talking to you. I'll see you later.